Listen, then he can't be successful from understanding his authority ignorant. and keep him ignorant mm -hmm. and blind, blind, then he can't be successful. He'd just be a mediocre Christian. Dude, y'all need to listen to this. Y'all need, need to hear what I'm saying. I am not trying to be a mediocre Christian. I want to open a can of whoop on the devil often. Often. And, and you're saying we have that authority to do that. I got power. I have authority. I can change my world by speaking into my world. Proverbs 18, 21 said, whatever comes out of your mouth. Because you see, the devil's after your words. So Say the devil again. has Say legal rights. Again. Say that again. The Say devil is after your words. And the devil has legal right over darkness. So if whatever comes out, maybe you speak divorce, believe me, the devil's gonna bring it to you. And if you speak death over your kids, the devil's gonna bring it to you because he already got legal rights over that. If you don't break it, uproot it, and the, 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 the divorce it, it's over. Man, so, I'm about so, to shadow so, him. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I, uh, and, I, and I think it's worth really looking at this. Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and, and every tongue that rises up against me thou shalt condemn. This is your heritage, and your righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. But in that scripture, it's not just no weapon formed against you will prosper, as, it's to, as if to say the circumstance you're in right now won't prosper. We're not paying attention to the other side of that. It says in every tongue that rises up against you. Well, what is he talking about? Words. Mm -hmm. He's talking about words. He's talking about if you allow words to settle in your heart, then those words, especially if they're wrong words, will form weapons in your life. Yes. But if you will recognize those wrong words and every word that comes up against you and condemn those words, when somebody says, you know what, you're probably going to die of cancer, you say, I condemn that word. I have life and with long life at will I live. And, and, or somebody says, well, you know what? You're broke all your life. You're like, no way am I going to be broke. God called me to prosper. Well, people think that, we, you know, we're just going a little overboard because they're just words. And John, you're saying it's not just words. Would you agree that these words if received and conceived in the heart of a man can be the very weapon Satan is using against you. Oh yeah, I can, use, I can give you a form of, of my previous life in witchcraft, right? That I would sit down with the devil all night long, like I'm, I'm, when, when the church was sleeping, right? I would sit with the devil all night long talking. So I sometimes stay up all night long and talk to Jesus, you know, because if I did with the devil, I can do with Jesus. Amen. And so, so I would, I would, I would, the devil said, well, don't attack him. I didn't have to buy a coffin. I didn't have to get human bones to do witchcraft on you and, and, and stand down the bones. That's what I would do. And I, I didn't have to buy a 21 candle. That's a 21 rose to the dark side and put it there to try to destroy your life. But the, the devil said, don't do that today. Just speak words, speak words, speak death, speak words, negative, close down, divorce, speak death, speak cancer, speak this, speak that. And to the life that then the demon will carry those words over and the demon will stop penetrating down your mind. The Bible said, renew your mind daily. So if you're not renewing your mind daily, those words will sit around and then you start entertaining those words. And if you start entertaining words, you give them power. That's so powerful. It's like I have somebody here on the show today who's confirming 30 years of what I've been teaching. If you can keep a